Hey guys, David here from Gugudu55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to burn CDs in iTunes. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video is how to burn CDs of the songs that you have in iTunes using iTunes. Now this is probably the most reliable way to burn CDs, at least in my experience. So I'm on a Mac here, but the steps are the same in Windows. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to create a new playlist with the songs that you want to burn onto this CD. So what you need to do is up here, go to playlists, click the plus button down here and just hit new playlist. Now you can name the playlist if you want. I'll just type in CD tutorial. This is also the label that will get burned to the CD. And let's say I wanted to burn this album to a CD here. So all I'd have to do is drag it over. And there we go. All the songs from that album are on the CD. Now you can also add individual songs. So let's say I wanted to add a song from this album. And I could also select where on the CD it will be. And let's say I want to add another song from this album. Again, you just click and drag, you can put it anywhere you want. Now up here you will also see the number of songs and the number of minutes. Keep in mind that the average CD is 80 minutes, so normally this will fit about 15 or 16 normal length songs. Anyway, so once you're done putting the songs in the playlist that you want to burn to your CD, all you have to do is hit done, and you'll see the new playlist is created. So you're going to want to make sure that the playlist you just created is selected, click on the gear, and hit burn playlist to disk. So next you're going to want to make sure that audio CD is selected. You can select MP3 CD or data CD, but you risk your CD player not accepting that format. So your best bet to ensure that it'll work on all CD players is just to hit audio CD. You can store more if you make it an MP3 or data CD. However, like I said, it's more likely to play on all CD players if you choose audio CD. You can also change the burn speed if you'd like for a more reliable burn. So the lower it goes, the more reliable that the CD will be. However, most CD burners these days are pretty reliable, so I'm just going to leave this one at the maximum possible. And then the next thing that you have to do is hit burn, and it'll start burning the CD. And next you can just put it into your CD player, and it should play like a normal audio CD. So thanks for watching, and I hope I helped. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to write, comment, and subscribe for more, and also don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.gugu55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.